In this video, I want to demonstrate for you how to scroll and scale charts within Track and Trade. Now, the first thing you'll notice on the right hand side is that we have the price column, and on the bottom side, we have the date bar. You'll notice within these bars that we have a little gray line separating this, the left side from the right side. And that's because those two sides of this bar gives you different features and capabilities. If we hover our mouse over the left hand side of the bar, hold down the left mouse button and move it up and down, you'll notice that it moves the entire chart up and down on the screen vertically. If we move the, the mouse, and you'll notice the mouse cursor going to the right side of the gray line, and then we move it up and down, you'll notice that it squeezes the chart from the top to the bottom. So that's a nice way of scrolling and scaling your chart vertically. Now on the bottom side, we've got the same type of action that occurs. You'll notice that we have the gray line in between. The top side, if we hover the mouse over and hold the left mouse button and move it back and forth, you'll notice that it moves the chart left and right on the screen. If I move the mouse to the lower side of that bar, I can zoom the chart in and out that way as well. Now, there's little buttons and arrows over here on each side of the bars. You'll notice that we have a left arrow and a right arrow. We have a plus and a minus. And those are corresponding to the, either the top half of the bar or the lower half of the bar. The same thing over here on the right-hand side. You'll have a down arrow or an up arrow. We have a plus and a minus. If you use the plus and the minus, for example, we can expand the bar by just simply clicking the plus. It makes it a little simpler sometimes for some people rather than sliding the bar. Or we use the minus and of course it brings it back down. Again, a little easier than using the bar. If we come down here and use the arrow, of course it moves it up and down on the screen. And the same thing down on the lower side. If we use the plus, we can enlarge the screen or we can reduce the size of the screen. And of course we can move the screen to the left or we can move the screen to the right using the arrows. Now there are some shortcuts to this that I want to introduce to you. Now if we want to scale, again we can scale on here, or we can just grab anywhere in the chart, and if we draw up and down on the chart, you can see just by holding the left mouse button down, we can scroll and scale just by doing that anywhere on the chart. Same thing to the other direction. We can just grab it and shrink it, enlarge it, just by going anywhere on the chart and dragging on the screen. Now if we want to move the chart up and down, again we move the chart up and down uh, on a single axis this way, but if we want to do multiple axis, we can either hold down the left mouse button for 1.5 seconds, and then we can move it around like this, anywhere you want. And then, if you would like, you can come up here and grab this directional movement, click on that, move it around anywhere you would like. And if you want to remove that button, you can either come up here and click the little arrow or the little pointer, and that removes it. Or if you have it selected and you're moving it around, you can just double click and it will remove it from the screen. So you're back to your arrow. So there's lots of quick little shortcuts just by double clicking. Now another thing I want to demonstrate for you is magnification. Now let's say we want to come in and we want to do a little bit of magnification. We want to blow the chart up and we just want to see this last piece of the chart. We want that to be all the screen has. All we have to do is we left click with our mouse. It gives us a box with a magnification glass. We draw that around the part that we want to enlarge, release the mouse, and and it brings it onto the screen exactly how we drew it. Now you can see it's enlarged. Now if you right click on the chart, you'll notice that we have something called Center Chart. Center Chart gives us the ability to do exactly what it just says, center the chart. So it brings us back to the center, back to the previous setting. Now we also have an icon up here that uh, is on the button bar. It's called Center Chart and does the exact same thing. So again, we can come in here, draw this in, hit center chart. Now this time when we hit center chart it's not going to take us all the way back to the full screen. It's just going to center this chart as it's enlarged to the screen uh, as we enlarged it. Now if I bring this off the screen for one reason or another it's not there. I can hit that and it will bring it back to center chart. Now again if I come in and do it on this one center chart it's going to bring me back to the full screen as I had it before. Now there's some shortcuts to that. Let's come in here and I'll show you some shortcuts. If we come in here, now I can just double click the chart at this point and it's going to center the chart just like that. Now if I double click it again, it's going to bring me back to this point here. Now if I double click it again, it's going to bring me back to this view. If I double click it again, it's going to bring me back to the center point. I'll double click it one more time and it takes me back out to the previous view. So just by double clicking on the chart can take you through the different modes or different views of the chart as they are enlarged or as, I, as you enlarged them using the magnification class. One more thing I want to show to you is these little buttons in here. Sometimes when we go down and we go to multiple chart view, let's say we come in here and we open up a five minute chart 
and we open up a 15 minute chart and let's open up a let's open up a one minute chart so we have four charts all here on the screen for us and let's say we want to make them all in what we call mini chart mode we put them all on the screen at once and so we have them all on the screen at once let's say I want them all to look the same I want them all to look exactly the same I can come in here let's say this one for example has a volume uh, bar in it whereas these do not all I have to do is right click on the chart slide down and say save settings and apply settings to all charts if I do that it's going to make all charts exactly the same notice how it added the indicator for me now there's another point that I want to make here with the scrolling and scaling see these little arrows and these little uh, plus and minus buttons here on the bars sometimes when you have multiple charts on the screen and you have maybe a smaller chart you might not want those on there once you realize that you don't need them anymore because you can just you can scroll and scale and scroll uh, just by using the charts you don't need those arrows and sometimes those arrows get in the way you just come into the preferences you slide down to the preference window here and you can remove these uh, from the screen so you just come in here to show hide zoom and scale scroll buttons so we can just turn those off if we would like and now we have a larger screen size on here and we can see better when we're uh, more screen space for us so that's kind of how we can do that I kinda like them turned on because I like to use them once in a while and I'll turn them off if I get more than four charts on the screen and it starts to take up too much room but that's a nice way of turning those off so then we just come in here save as my defaults update all charts and that gives us that ability now the reason I wanted to show you the right click and apply to all was because when we come back out to a chart I'm gonna show you we have these little gray uh, arrows on the side panel here we have them also on the bottom panel as well along the the date line and on the the price bar and so if you come in here and you move those those are our margins okay so those are our margins and so once again I can squeeze these in or I can make them larger and I can make uh, for this example I'm just going to give you a, a very small margin and you'll notice that the margin is in there and it's set now if I come back to the other charts as we had them before we're going to go back into mini mode you'll notice that this one's margins are different than all the rest so I can come in here and I can right click and I can say save and apply settings to all charts now my margins for all the charts are exactly the same and they've been saved so every new chart that I open up will also have those same margins so if I want to change them back I'm going to go back out to full size mode I'm going to bring the margins back out to where I want them back out to here and I'll bring this margin down to here and we can do the same thing on the bottom side as well we can make a bigger margin or a smaller margin on this right hand side now notice that the chart didn't move with it if I bring it over here and grab it it'll start to move there we go and now I can make my margin right here and then all I have to do is just hit the center button and it'll save to that zone anytime I hit center button it's going to bring me back to those margins again all I have to do right click and hit save and apply settings to all charts and now my margins are saved for all the charts to be equal to this one here now the question is why would I have that much extra space out here or we'll draw in this case maybe a Fibonacci ruler out into the future and we'll want to see where we think these markets might come in price and time and we'll need a little bit of extra space out here in the future so that's why we have these uh, different margins giving us the ability to squeeze down or uh, give us some additional drawing space on the chart and so that's just a quick summary of uh, scrolling and scaling in track and trade.